You're looking at Sparkle from the Raquel Welch Cool Tones Collection in the color Iced Granita RL5161. All the details of this beautiful chic wig just ahead. You just have to do it. I've been saying that gray is the new blonde. No, no. Gray is the new black. Look over my shoulder as we take a look at this beautifully produced video over at the Hair You Wear channel. And of course, gray is the new black. Raquel's Ice Granita is a cool tone that progresses from lightest gray at the front and gradually blends into a deeper tone in the nape, totally mimicking nature's very own gray process. This Ice Granita is just beautiful. The white on the front, the soft gray, the little touch of the depth of the nape, such a natural color, but it's also fashion forward. You know, so I love it. Yeah, it is. I love it. Great color, great style. Yeah. What more could you ask yeah. for? <laughs> what more could you ask for? It's really, you notice uh, how she's got the hair kind of flipped out at the sides whereas I have mine more pushed down. Now if you want to flip it out at the sides you're going to use some hair wax to do that but oh it's just you know these iced colors as I've said before wigs are just getting better and better and better. Again once again Taz I thank you because this is how I found <laughs> this particular wig and uh, I thought that she looked beautiful on Taz. Taz did a great review on her and I have a little bump back there because of my ponytail, but normally I would flatten that out a little bit more. But yes, I purchased this wig, as I said, after I saw Taz review it, and then it went on clearance at Wig Studio One. I got her for under $100, been waiting and waiting to review her. And I love her. I think it's a wonderful look and very light on your head, and we'll get into that. So all I'm doing now is I'm just tipping my head down, and I'm going to, as if I'm putting my head in a bowl, I've got my hands on the two ear tabs, and just gently put her on. Now, she's right now, she's in the middle of my forehead, so I'm just continuing, leave her in the middle of my forehead, and then I will pull her underneath the ponytail that I've got and push the ponytail up make sure all the hair is up inside of her and then I will go back in make sure I've got the ear tabs equidistant and then finally I will pull the cap up to my natural hairline. Again, I have a widow's peak, so on me, the hairline is going to be a little bit just about a quarter inch above my widow's peak. That's my natural hairline. Okay, so all you're going to do really with this wig is you're just going to take her out of the box. I already gave her a good shake and then just zhuzh her a little bit. I will take a wig brush, wig comb I should say, just get her away from the cap. We have to be careful here not to, she's open wefted, so it's not as if you're looking straight into a scalp, so you want to be careful there. She does have permatease for lift. Just put her on and go. In my opinion, this was a real find from the clearance section over at Wig Studio One. It was on back order for a while. When I initially went to, to purchase it, they said it wouldn't be here to November, until November. And then 
all of a sudden it was on clearance and I got it pretty much right away. And it, as many people have said, it is a true out of the box style. Take it out, shake it, rearrange a little bit how you like it and go. It's wonderful if you're not used to wearing wigs, if it's one of your first wigs. It does have permittees. So when you, if you're not used to having a lot of hair, the first time you look in the mirror when you wear a wig that's got permittees or it's poofy, you're really taken aback because you're not used to seeing all that hair. This is a low density wig and for that reason it's it's you're not going to feel overwhelmed by the hair, but you might not be used to the height that you're that you're seeing because when your hair is thinning, your hair is flat. And if you try to do anything to it, you're seeing through to your scalp. But I think for this reason, this is one of one of the best selling wigs that's out there. It's just the, the way it frames your face, the way it fits the head, it's light on the head, it's open wefted so it's cool, it has that tapered neckline that hugs the head, it's got a memory cap so you put it on and it kind of memorizes, memorizes your head and then it, it And it, and it just fits like a glove. This is an average size. They do also have it in a petite, but they don't have it in a large. The specs, which I will put in a graphic for you, are as follows. It is 2.25 ounces, so it weighs virtually nothing. It, as I've already said, it has an average cap. It's all synthetic hair. There's no human hair in here. Pretty much all around, it's three and a half in the front, it's three and a half on the crown, it's two and a half inches on the side, three inches in the back, the nape is one and three quarters, and as we've already said, it curves around, giving a lovely feminine look to your neck. It's not cut off in a straight line, it just gracefully hugs the neck. Very sleek, very, very pretty, very pretty look, especially if you've got jewelry on. It is open wefted. I'll talk about the cap a little bit later on, and of course I'll bring it outside so that you can see it. It does have those um, Velcro adjusters, but it feels very comfortable on my head, and my head it is 22 and a half, so a lot of times average caps can still feel tight on me, but this one feels very, very comfortable. Now I'll give you the slow spin so you can see the whole thing. And again, remember, depending upon how long your neck is, remember in the, mo the model that I showed you from hair you wear, she had a long neck from the bottom of her nape to, you know, down at the top of her shoulders. So if, if you've got a long neck, it'll this part here will be further up on the nape of your neck. And then as I already said before, some people like Taz like to poof hers out. I think that's a nice look. Or maybe you want to sleek it down a little bit. Maybe you'll use some um, hair wax and make it more PC or you know just something to, to sleek it down. I think it's a really, really nice, nice piece. Now, of course, I wear glasses pretty much all the time. Uh, these are, you know, they're, they're pretty hefty. And then I have my other glasses that I like to wear. These are rimless. Both of them slide right in. They slide right into those ear tabs. And then, of course, I have to have my favorite glam glasses. I love these glasses. I can't see anything with them because they're not prescription, but I usually wear them if we go to the beach or the pool or if we're just out to dinner with friends and I don't have to look at anything long distance because I just love them. They have these little sparkly things. Love them. And then um, I really don't think that I would do anything, you know, accessory wise because it is open wefted and there's really not much hair to grab unless I wanted to take something like this. But there's, you know, other than just maybe a little bit of a decoration, I would use a hair band. The square bands that we all love. 
and you could go with whatever color you want. And I love the square bands because they've got the little sparkly, anything that sparkles, right? I think that looks really great. And I'm, again, I've said it so many times, put a hair band on, nobody's going to know you've got a wig on. It's just a little trick. Well, let's take a look at the inside of this cap. You can see the comfort band at the front of the hairline. And then the open wefting, the Velcro adjusters on both sides, leading to the open nape, which is going to keep you very comfortable at the base of the neck. The open wefted cap construction, the other Velcro adjuster on the left-hand side. And that beautiful memory cap, too. And then you could see where the permatease would be lying at the top of the at the top of the cap. Just beautifully done. Just as a quick aside, I did a search at Wig Studio One in the color. I just typed in Iced Granita up here in the search box in the upper right. But several of these come in the Iced Granita. And I will finish looking at the rest of them after I'm done recording this video and include in this video which of these styles come in the Iced Granita because some of us like short. Some of us like medium, some of us like a little bit longer. But here are one, two, three, uh, a handful of uh, the other styles that come in the iced granita. So we have the um, winter wig, large cap ladies, winter, winter wig. You can see right there, it's 5660 silver mist with pure white. Now I looked to see if she came in the ice granita, but she didn't. But you know what? This is close enough for me. Right, here's another one that is in the color iced granita, upstage by Raquel Welch, petite cap for those of you who have the petite head, and then you can see all the specs there. And then we have Muse, and she is also in the iced granita, and she is a chic little bob. Next up, Love this one. A nice granita. Very unusual to see something long. And she is the scene stealer. You can see why. Look at the specs real quick on this one. She is average cap, monofilament top, lace front. Nice, nice, nice wig. So there are other ones besides the short in the Ice Granita, but I think her colors are absolutely beautiful. If you follow me, you know that I'm always talking about colors. And let's move on. Thanks so much for watching my review of Raquel Welch's Sparkle from the Cool Tones collection in the color Ice Granada RL5161. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And until next time, look for the silver linings, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.